So Steve, tell me about how you first discovered the ash dieback disease here in Ashwellthorpe. Well, it must have been about five weeks ago I first noticed signs of ash dying back because at the time I wasn't aware what it was. And then after following some e-alerts from the Forestry Commission, I came back for further investigation and discovered that the disease had already progressed. So reporting it to the Forestry Commission led them to come and visit and then it was confirmed as this ash dieback disease. And were you surprised that that's what it was? I had a horrible fear that it would be and when they confirmed it to me uh, I was more alarmed than surprised. So let's have a look at it on this tree here. What, what are the signs? This is a quite small sapling, isn't it? But yeah, it's difficult to tell now because the leaves are dropping anyway because we're going into the autumn. But there are other things to look for. This dark mark down here is very characteristic of it. Essentially this is dead material in the tree and there'll be some more on the other side. And when these, of course, form a girdle all the way round the tree, it kills it. That's effectively strangling the tree, isn't it? That? It's cutting off the, the lifeline from the active end to the roots. And what's going to happen to this sapling now? It's, the disease has been confirmed here in the ancient woodland. This one will probably take um, maybe... Uh, we don't know how long it will take to die. It might die. It may not come back into life in spring, or it might take another season to be fully killed. Uh, this one will probably be taken out and burnt because this one's near a footpath. But obviously, we're hoping that this isn't something we have to do with all our disease trees because the effect of that on the woodland could be more destructive than the disease itself. What would be your worst fears for the woodland for Ashwell Thought? that it loses all, loses all its ash. Which is 40%. 40% of the trees. But also it will mean we will have lost one species, a significant species from the wood. But my fears are also that we are asked to do works in the wood to try and conquer this disease that will have a very detrimental effect on the wood. If the government, say, told you to start felling all ash trees we would have no choice but to fell them but we couldn't afford to fell them all also what do you do when you felled them you've got to try and take them out extract them that on a clay soil like this particularly in winter when it's wet can cause so much damage to an ancient woodland floor that it may never recover thanks steve